Hey guys, so today's video is such a highly requested video and I'm so sorry I'm just finally getting around to filming it. It's been it's been crazy for a few weeks. But a lot of you guys have been asking me to test out the Fenty Beauty Foundation and I have been keeping this on my desk for a few weeks waiting for this video to film it because I wanted to try it for the first time with you guys on camera. I want to give you guys my first impressions and I also want to do a wear test on this later on in today's video and then I will come back at the end of the night and show you guys how it wore throughout the day. And I think that's super helpful so we're definitely going to do that. I am a little bit scared. I think this is targeted for those of you with oily skin. But I've loved matte foundations in the past. Like the All Nighter Foundation from Urban Decay is one of my favorites. There's a few I really like and if I moisturize really well, sometimes I can get it to work. So that is what I'm gonna do with this guy and hopefully I love it. At least I hope so because I actually think $34 for this foundation is not so bad. Considering how expensive foundations are at Sephora, they're like 40, 50, even $60. So I think a $34 foundation is pretty good and I think the packaging is really nice. I love this frosted bottle like I honestly expected this to be priced higher in my opinion just because it's Rihanna you know I'm actually pleasantly surprised with the price on this foundation at least just that's just me so I did pick up the pro filter instant retouch primer but I don't want to use this for the first time if I've never used the foundation because what if I don't love this primer I don't want it to mess up how I feel about the foundation so I will be trying out this primer on my own time I love this packaging is so pretty I actually have a few Fenty Beauty products to try out in this video as well I mean this video is based on this foundation like that is what this video is about we are gonna test it out I'm gonna give you my thoughts but I will be throwing in a few other things as well I'm gonna be doing my full face I'm gonna get ready right here and yeah let's just get the ball rolling all right let's do it so I'm going to pick up my hair okay so because this is a matte foundation I'm gonna go in with a super hydrating moisturizer and I'm gonna use this as a primer as well this is the Kiehl's ultra facial moisturizer and I'm gonna load this up on my face this really does just hydrate the crap out of my skin and usually matte foundations just apply better on top of this moisturizer. We can move on to the foundation. It says to shake well. I picked up the shade 180, but I know this is too light for me. I just guessed online. She has like 40 shades. The shade range is amazing. It goes from very light to very deep, so I love that. I'm going to be using my beauty blender to apply this. Um, I hear this dries really, really quickly, so I am going to work in sections. Actually, that's not too light. And I do hear it oxidize, not oxidizes, but I hear it gets a little bit darker. So, actually that color isn't bad at all. Okay, so the coverage is like medium, I would say. So that's nice. So, I am noticing just a little bit of dryness around my mouth, in between my brows, and around my nose, which happens to me pretty often with some matte foundations because I have very dry skin, which a lot of you know. You can just kind of see it sitting on the skin in this area. Let me see if I can zoom you in. I don't know if you can tell. You probably can't tell on camera. You have to get really close to see it, but it kind of looks a little bit dry in this area. It's not extremely noticeable, you do have to get really close to my face to see it, but just in case you have very dry skin, I'm just letting you know. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply some concealer, just because this foundation is pretty matte. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, it's like a dewy or hydrating concealer, and then I will come back and we can try out this bad boy. Oh, and by the way, it's actually not too tacky. Usually when I apply this underneath my foundation, no matter what, the finish stays a little bit tacky, and... This one isn't too tacky. It doesn't feel, you know, it feels kind of like skin. That's really nice. I like that. So, just mentioning that. And to apply this concealer, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty 110 Foundation Brush. I know it's a foundation brush, but I just loved the brush so much, so I wanted to buy it. It's such, it's such pretty packaging, but I knew I wasn't going to use it for foundation. I never use brushes like this, but I thought maybe for a concealer it would be perfect.
Okay, I don't know if it's because of this foundation or the fact that I haven't used this concealer in a super long time, but I don't love how this concealer looks. I'm gonna pop on another concealer. <laughs> I'm gonna use some of my Catrice uh, Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I will say I kind of like this brush for concealer. It's pretty firm, but it's very, very soft, so it doesn't feel scratchy underneath the eyes at all. It's like very, very soft. And I like the shape. You can get like right up in here. So now I would usually apply some in between my brows, on my nose, and on my chin, just to even out the face, but I don't want to apply too much because I really want to see how this foundation wears in this area, in like my problem area. But I'm going to add a little bit on the tip of my nose here and on my chin a bit. All right, I'm gonna test out the Fenty Beauty Invisimat Blotting Powder in Universal. It's just a translucent setting powder that's supposedly like invisible on the skin. So I'm just gonna use that to set everywhere I put down the concealer. It really does look invisible on the skin. Even though it looks kind of white, but it's pretty translucent. I'm also gonna put some, a little bit on the rest of my face. Just a little bit. Okay, it looks really nice and smooth underneath my eyes. I really like that. Okay, so I'm really quickly gonna apply my bronzer and my blush, just because they're not new products or anything, but I am gonna contour with my NARS Talia Contour Powder. I'm gonna bronze the skin with my ColourPop Private Party Bronzer, and then I'm gonna apply some of my Bare Peach Blush from Burt's Bees, and then I will be back to try a Fenty highlight, which I'm very excited about. Ow, I just scratched myself. All right, so I bought three Fenty Beauty highlights. I cannot find Moon Metal anywhere or Metal Moon. It's the one that's completely white with like a golden undertone. And then these two are split down the middle. These are the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duos. I got Mean Money and Hustla Baby. And then I got Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try this one. This one worries me a little bit because this one is very, very glittery. And you guys know how I feel about glittery highlights. I don't love them. But this one, when you swatch it on the skin, like on your hand, it doesn't really look glittery. I don't know. It swatches nicer than it looks. So I'm gonna take my favorite highlighting brush. This is the Zoeva 134 brush. And first I'm gonna dip into like the more satin side. Mean Money. Okay, so this one is very, very, very subtle. You can kind of see it a little bit, but this side is very natural. This one would actually be perfect for you if you're very fair, but I don't love it. I don't hate it, but I don't know. It's not my favorite. I'm gonna take a little bit of the other one though. I'm gonna take Girl Next Door, this one right here. I have a feeling this one is like Beauty Miss. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just applying that on top. Ooh. This one is the more natural of these two, but it shows up a lot more than Mean Money. This one is so beautiful. I do want to add a little bit more bling on top of it, so I'm going to go back into this one. And I'm going to take Hustla Baby, and I'm going to apply just a little bit of this at the very tip of my cheekbone here. Let's see how that looks. Oh. This highlight is literally perfect for you if you're going out at night clubbing or something. Like this would... I'm just going to add a little bit of that sparkly one on my nose. Oh my god, look how intense that is. All right, so I wanna make sure this highlighter just melts right into the skin, because it is so intense right now. I'm gonna take my Morphe setting spray and I'm just going to set the face. Okay, so after applying that setting spray, wow, that even made my foundation just like sink into the skin. I think this foundation really needed a setting spray. You know what? I think that's what it was missing. I feel like it melted into my skin and now it looks more skin-like. My face is pretty much done. 
I'm really quickly just gonna add a little bit of eye makeup just because I really want to try this out. This isn't like a first impressions on this or anything. I'm probably just gonna speed through this part. But I really want to try out the Bare Minerals Hidden Treasure Palette. This is what it looks like. I just purchased this because it was full of so many neutrals. I, I couldn't pass it up. I love how you get a super cool toned row here. The only thing that throws me off about this palette, there's so many light shades like right here. Like so many light shades and not enough deeper shades. I wish there would have been just a few more crease colors or like outer corner colors. I would have liked like more crease shades. But besides that, they're very, very pigmented and they just feel really creamy. And I mean, these are all super essential colors, you know? So I'm just gonna play with this really quickly and then I will try on this lip gloss that I have been dying to try out ever since I bought it, so yes. Okay, so to finish off this look, I'm gonna go in with the... The writing is so tiny. Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fenty Glow. This gloss looks so gorgeous, and it looks so pretty on everybody, and it smells really, really, really good. Oh my god. This tastes and like smells like old school smackers, and it's so weird, because I never thought I would put on a gloss this color, and actually like it, but I do. I don't know, there's something about it. I would probably love wearing this gloss with like really, really dewy skin and just mascara and brows as well. I don't know, I really like that gloss. So that was pretty much everything. By the way, I really like this eyeshadow palette. Everything blended so nicely. So I'm just gonna wear this foundation for the rest of the day and then I will get back to you at the end of the day with my final thoughts. Hi friends, <laughs> I just woke up from a nap like 10 minutes ago and it is 11 p.m. That means I am not going to sleep tonight. I don't even know how that happens. I don't take naps during the week. I don't take naps often. So it is time to analyze this foundation. I've had it on for about eight hours now because I did my makeup at three o'clock, so it's been on for eight hours. That's a pretty decent test. And honestly, I think it held up pretty well for eight hours. My foundation is still on, my contour is on. You could see my highlight. Not so much on this side. This side is a bit patchier because this is where I fell asleep. As you can see here on my sweater, I have foundation on it because I like knocked out like this on my couch. So I did wear off on my cheeks, but I didn't really powder my entire face. You guys kind of saw me just like put it on my home you know? I just dusted a little bit on, so maybe if I would have set my face better, it wouldn't have rubbed off so much when I was sleeping. But this side still looks like perfect. So I definitely think it's pretty long wearing on my skin. I actually asked Danny how he thought my foundation looked and he was looking at me and he was like, well, you look a little glossy. <laughs> and I was like, really? Thanks. I always wanna look glossy. And he also did say that it looked a little cakey around my nose, which I totally agree. I said that in the beginning of this video. It looks great on the rest of my skin, but around my nose and on my chin, it does look a little dry and cracky. So I don't love that. I have a ton of other foundations that don't do that to me. So this honestly wouldn't be the first foundation I reach for. And this is probably a really good foundation to mix with other stuff. Oh, you know what? I love how the Luminous Silk Foundation looks on my skin, but I don't like how it makes me look greasy in like an hour. So maybe if I mix those two foundations, one is very luminous and one is very long wearing on me, maybe that combo would be perfect. I have to try that. 
But I have a feeling I'm gonna like mixing this foundation with like dewy stuff. I actually got a few comments from you guys letting me know that the Catrice foundation is actually very similar to this one. I have to test those two out because now that I think about it, maybe that one is very matte as well. I have to test those two out together. But yeah, now I'm just gonna zoom you guys in so you can see how my face looks after eight hours. So I mean, it's not bad. I have other foundations I do like more than this one, but I've tried foundations that I've absolutely hated and I don't hate this at all. I'm actually really impressed with the way it lasted on the skin. I still have to play around with it more obviously. This is only the first time I use it. I mean, what do you think? How do you think it looks on my skin? Let me know down below. But anyway, the rest of the products I used, I love. Even the gloss, it has completely rubbed off now because I ate and everything, but I loved it. It's super pretty. And yeah, guys, that completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Our split, our split down. And honestly, I. Eleven, eleven, make a wish.